In this quick tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to pin your text to your video. First I'll show you on mobile and then I'll show you on the computer. Open up a new CapCut project from your phone and import a video. I imported a video of two horses racing and I want to put their names above each horse. Click text and add text and enter your name. Click the checkbox and now you can choose the style of how you want the text to display. Reposition it right over the first horse and then resize the text clip so it's as big as your full length of the top clip. With your text bar highlighted, go to the bottom and scroll all the way to the right and click tracking. Now a yellow circle will appear and you want to resize this by dragging in the corners so it's about the same size as your object. If you're using a person, I would suggest just going over their face, but here in the situation I'm going to use a piece of the horse. And click start tracking. Once it's complete, drag your file to the left and let's hit play. Now you can see the text is following the first horse. Now I want to put a name over the second horse and track that one as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add text and format it a little bit differently. We're going to call her Jenny. I made her text pink. And then I'm going to resize the bottom clip to the length of the video clip again. And then at the bottom, we're going to do tracking again resize the circle to match the right horse and click start tracking. Let's export the video and see how it looks. Now let's do the same thing from a PC. Okay, I'm going to import a video into my project by dragging it down into the project area. What I want to do again is add text by clicking text. And I'm just going to use the default text here and click the plus sign to add to track. And from here, I can name this horse Jeff. And I'm going to give it some type of effect here by going to the basic tab and then I'm choosing Jeff's text, which will just do this yellow one. Okay, I'm going to resize it, put it right over Jeff, and now I'm going to click tracking. I'm going to do motion track from here. And then the same thing, I'm going to put this little checkbox right on Jeff the horse and resize it so it's a bit smaller. Okay, this looks about as small as it can get. And then I click start. It's going to run its tracking on Jeff the horse. Now that seemed to take much longer on the computer than it did on my cell phone for some reason. But here I'm going to drag the text all the way to the end to match the same length. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my second horse here. So I'm going to go to text and default text and add to track. Make this the same length. And what should we call her? Let's call her Jane. Jeff and Jane, the horses. We're going to move this text. We're going to make her text pretty pink. And the same thing, tracking motion track. I want to move her target over her and make it as small as I possibly can. And then go ahead and start. This is going to track Jane's movement. And again, it takes much longer on the computer for some reason than I did on my mobile device. Now let's watch Jeff and Jane in action. I'm going to hit this icon to make the screen bigger. 